Hi everyone, this is a very important topic in how to implement JWT uh, authentication with uh, Node.js. In previous video, we created our sign up and also the login pages and we saved the records in MySQL database. And in this video, we will implement uh, how to use JWT with Node.js. Okay, in the previ previous video, we implemented our sign up forum and we registered the account and also we implemented our login uh, forum okay and we check that whenever we logged in successfully we should go to uh, our home page okay so we implemented it in the previous video so for that video you have the link in the description how to use it we used session cookies and also save the registration and also back check the login pages so we did it all this in the previous video so in this video you just use the GWT uh, JSON web token how to use that okay so the first thing is that we should install that in our um, server side okay so before that let's check it it is our front end project react.js and this is the server that node.js project okay so in this server side we will install json web token we will come here to the terminal and to the server side uh, inside here we will add npm install json web token if you are using yarn just yarn add json web token so i have already installed that let's check it see json web token i have installed that okay so now let's use that so before starting let's check it how it works okay how this web uh, um, this json web token works okay for example um, here is the user okay the user logged into the system okay this is the login and they press the button okay and it log into the server okay the server verified okay it log in successfully okay it generate a token for user it generate a token for the user okay it's stored on the client side on this uh, uh, user okay when you word the user again request to an api okay to the server okay it requests for example like a facebook okay whenever you logged in you are requesting for posts for comments for your profile for something else so again it should check that uh, so it we should log in again uh, you whenever you are requesting for example for posts okay then they should verify you is it the user that you have logged in with us or not are you authenticated with or not with us so it token help with us to just verify it based on that token okay this is the user which is logging with us which is verified with us which is authenticated okay no need for again to log in uh, back for the um, uh, posts or comments or for the profile so it check just the choker the token uh, if that was uh, Authenticated it means the token matched with the server where there is the, uh, the token if that matched so no need again to log in for that uh, uh, API, okay, so it check for example, there are many users, okay, so it will check all the users So it just showed the data the related to that user, okay, so this is very strong uh, um, The token is very strong, okay, so it it is just simple when we are requesting for other APIs so it helps us um, and uh, it authenticate the user that is it the user that he is claiming or not so it is all about that so let's move now back so to use that first of all we will come to our server side code okay server side okay where uh, we are logging to the system okay this is the login route api that we have written okay in the login when you were we successfully logged into the system okay so in the login system here this is the code that we are logged in successfully okay it means that uh, our um, password and username is correct so here we will just use now gwt so first we will import gwt so for that we will write import jwt from json web token after importing that let's use it so whenever we logged in successfully so here we will use that now so first of all we will just take the id from our records okay this one the id that we have okay we will just take this id so let's come here to our code and const id is equal to the data we are getting here okay this data this is an array type is okay whenever we run the query we will get an array so we will just take the zero the first row and we will take the id of that after getting the id of that now we will use the jwt json we token dot sign 
So to this sign method, we will just uh, pass first of all our ID, and then we will pass a secret key. Okay. Uh, the secret key this should be a private key okay uh, in the real uh, application that should be in dot env file okay you should have a dot env file in your uh, server side code and you should store that there and take from dot env file but now we are just testing so i will just write something like uh, gwt key okay i will just write like this our secret key okay secret key and after that we will pass another object so in that uh, object uh, like we will pass expires in for example expires in like 300 okay it will just take uh, around uh, five minutes okay so i so it will generate a token for us okay let's assign that to a variable const token is equal to so this method will just generate a token for us and we will store that in the token variable so after generating the token so now we will just uh, um, pass our return that to our client side okay to our front end so to return that instead of just passing this message uh, we will just write message success or i will write let's assign um, login true okay it means login is true and also we will pass our token and um, also we can pass uh, the data okay that we return okay we will just simply pass that to our front end so whenever we logged in successfully we will generate a token and we just pass that to our front end so now let's move to our front end side code okay and let's come to the let's token yeah we pass that uh, let's come to the login to the front end and here to the src to the login in this login whenever we submit our button this is the submission code okay so we will pass this like in api in our server side and here we will get the result so whenever we succeeded but right now oh, we are not getting this message we will get something like our result result dot data that uh, uh, let's check it we will return this login okay data dot login Whenever we return the login, if it was true, so it will run this code, okay? So we will come to this body. So just simply let's check it, okay? That we are uh, returning, okay? We are going to pack our homepage or not? Let's check it now. Let's come back and refresh it. And let's come in here, enter the password. Let's uh, login, press the login button. See? Yeah, it's correct. So whenever we come here, so now we will just uh, so what we will do now with uh, our token so we will store our token uh, in a local storage okay it is a good way maybe your yeah we will store that in a local storage so before storing that and the local storage we will come here let's the user interface we will create a button here okay whenever we press that we will just check is the user authenticated or not okay uh, by pressing that we will access the for example user information okay so whenever the user press that that button so we will check is the user authenticated to access this information or not so let's first of all create a button yeah let's come here to the home page let's come here yeah home and here create a button inside this uh, check auth okay check out so now let's whenever we click on this on click let's add a class name to this button button uh, primary and whenever we press the this button so we will call handle path let's create this function um, let's simply const handle path the lot is equal to we'll create a function and here we will call our um, backend api so for that i will use axis let's import it that has imported dot um, just git okay and we will call um, same same to this api this will be our route and let's assign it but instead of this uh, we will just uh, check uh, auth we will call this 
route okay check out we will create that later there okay that then we will get a result we will just console that log the result that cage if there was any error console dot log error okay so whenever we press this button we will call this function inside that we will just call this route and we will check we will then uh, display the result so let's create this route okay let's come here to the server and let's create that here we will just up that git and here check path okay same to that we will create route okay like this okay so after that we will get request and response and we will just return uh, result.json uh, succeeded or authenticated authenticated so before running this route okay for example we are passing this authentication message to the front end we will check is the user authenticated or not so for that i will create uh, another function so i will call or uh, name it verify jwt i will create this function now and before running this we will call this function if that return result true so then we will run this otherwise not okay so let's create that const verify jwt is equal to we will create a function we will get request response and also next middleware let's run that now so here first of all we will get our token from the headers okay we will write const token is equal to request that headers and from the headers we will get access for example we will name it access token first we will get our token okay now we will check if the token if the token was not available okay so then just ret return um, return result.json we need token please provide it for next time okay else if the token was available so then we will just verify it now so to so verify it we will like gwt dot verify in inside the verify the first we will um, write our token okay token that we access from headers then we will like our secret key okay the key that we had before we assigned before yeah this key okay we should write it manually like this let's write it okay so after that uh, we will just uh, get a function there will be error or decoded. Let's create this. So if we get an error, we will just uh, uh, return result.json not authenticated. Authenticated, okay. Else, we will just return, um, first of all, we will write like uh, a request dot user ID, for example is equal to decoded decoded dot id so it means that uh, we are passing our id to the next route okay to the next route to go further uh, for the next rounds so we will call next uh, middleware now yeah call that yeah so after writing this uh, we did we implemented it in our server side so now let's move to our front end so there whenever we get this response okay first of all we should store our token okay the token that we got in this login we should store that in local storage so let's come here and in the login so whenever we log in successfully yeah login successfully so we should store that in the local storage local storage that set item and we will name it token and after that we will assign result that data that token that we uh, returned okay the name of that was uh, token okay so let's check that see the token that we returned token okay so after that when we return the token so we should uh, uh, now use it 
let's move to our function that we created uh, let's come here where yeah we we were at the home page okay we were at the home page so we said whenever we click this button so we would like to call this function so after that whenever we call this so we should uh, um, call this authentication okay this api check auth okay we should call this check auth this one okay so we, we should do uh, pass our token also so here we should pass with the headers this token okay that we used okay this one access token we should pass this with the headers so let's write something like this headers and we will name it like this that we did in our server side okay access token and we will pass our token to this uh, local storage that get item the name of that was token yeah everything is working so now we will check that so let's move to our front end so to run this okay so first of all let's refresh the page yeah let's log in okay after logging so let's move to the console what we are getting from our server side okay let's to the console so let's press this check out okay to check that let's press it see we got the result that authenticated okay so if i remove the authentication the token so let's come here to the application let's come here local storage and here let's remove this okay let's delete it so let's come back to the console and let's press now this uh, uh, check out okay so let's press it say we got we need token please provide it for next time okay it means there is no token with us okay so it was the response that we got from our server side see if there was no token so please provide it if that was verified so we will get this result okay if that it means that there was no error so we move back to the next route so we got the result that authenticated so it was all about implementing uh, jwt in node.js uh, so I hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video so please subscribe our youtube channel and also like this video and comment down if you have any questions so please comment down that thanks for watching